Hi, I'm Marissa and welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time tuning into one of my uh, vlogs, then welcome. Um, I try to post a vlog every day, uh, but if not, I do post uh, videos a couple times a week. Today, I wanna tell you about my dinner last night. So what do you do? when you have a lazy Sunday and you've done absolutely nothing but relax and uh, veg out in front of Netflix, you decide on somewhere to go to have dinner. So I went and I had dinner uh, inside of what used to be an old funeral home. Um, and the place is now Riley Craft Pizza and Beer, but it used to be uh, a funeral home for more than 80 years. Now, Riley Undertaking, or Riley Funeral Home, was located in downtown Tucson on Pennington Street. John Riley the bought the funeral home in 1901. At first, the mortuary was located um, where the Greyhound bus, state, bus depot used to be located at Church and Broadway. But later, um, he, it was removed to uh, the Pennington location. John Riley was born in January of 1878 and was the son of Michael Riley of County Cork, Ireland and Julia McCormick from Indianapolis, Indiana. It wasn't until 1898 that John Riley moved to Arizona. By about 1908, he was successful enough to have a new two-story brick building erected at 102 West Pennington Street with a mortuary on the ground floor and living quarters on the upper. So from the outside, it looks like a historic building. Um, it's a very charming building. You can tell, you know, there's a historical, you know, air to it, but you would never suspect that it used to be a mortuary. Um, I definitely had no clue. Um, and inside it's been tastefully redone and decorated. The restaurant repurposed a gear shaft from a casket elevator into a table there was seating available in the beer garden which was just as nice so I actually went out to the beer garden and sat outside to have my dinner Riley's not only serves craft pizza, it serves everything from creamy polenta with wild mushrooms to citrus infused ricotta gnocchi, um, salads, everything, chef's board, everything, drinks, uh, yeah, you name it, they have a variety. Um, I think the most popular thing that they are known for right now are their Brussels sprouts. So those did look good, but I actually had the salad, the green salad with walnuts and it had uh, apple, like apple sticks and it had a citrus vinaigrette and uh, blue cheese. And then I had, uh, I had the truffle fries on the side. So it was a delicious meal. You'll admire the setting. Uh, it's a historic building with original floors, tall ceilings, and arched windows. Um, it really is, they've done a fantastic job of decorating the place and keeping um, a, a lot of the original you know, qualities. So it's sort of the best of both worlds. But the building's history starts in the 1890s when Ohio native John Riley came to Arizona to seek his fortune. He eventually fell into undertaking. Uh, the next decade, he was successful enough to build his own funeral home in downtown Tucson, uh, hiring local architect, Harry Justad to design a two-story brick building with a mortuary on the first floor, on the first level. Uh, upstairs were the living quarters where Riley and his wife Cecilia raised a very large family. After Riley's death in 1946, the family continued to run the funeral home successfully until the early 1990s when it finally closed its doors. 
The restaurant opened in 2012 after extensive renovations that included reinforcing the main building and converting the upstairs living quarters into offices. Um, they made tables out of old doors and gears used to lift uh, caskets from the basement showroom. Uh, and they transformed the Hearst garage and driveway into a beer garden. That's where I ate last night. Uh, most recently, they revamped the basement's rock-walled casket showroom into a cocktail lounge, and they aptly dubbed it the Tough Luck Club. The historic ambiance, the food, the downtown locale keep Riley craft pizza and drink very busy. Uh, they also have a consistent stream of the University of Arizona students, um, also people who work downtown, and they even are popular with ghost tours. Go figure. And of course, dinner would not be complete without dessert, right? So for dessert, I walked on over downtown a couple of streets over to the Hub Ice Cream it's called Ice Cream Factory, the Hub Ice Cream Factory, um, but they are a local ice cream shop um, that have been so successful. I think part of the reasons why they're successful is that their ice cream is made from scratch. So they feature about 300 flavors and at any one time uh, they have 24 flavors that are in rotation. Their flavors are uh, supposed to invoke childhood memories. So last night I had, because I have a weakness for hot fudge, a hot Today fudge sundae. Um, and I got to choose um, two different flavors so one scoop of each and I went with the German chocolate and my second flavor was Nutella and bananas uh, it's perfect so that's it that's my uh, little dose of Tucson history and a little recap about a really cool and delicious restaurant in town as well as a perfect place to have dessert uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching